today I'm here with my man Peter Shu, the uh, world's greatest party promoter. His parties was bananas, you know what I mean? Peter had the parties back in the day, you know, where everybody got uh, dressed up and it was like, you know, it was like extravaganza. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Peter's joint was, you know, where you put on your best, your best, you know? Whereas, you know, at Club 2000, I had it where, of course, they wore their best. But if you got money at the door, you could wear your sneakers, pay extra. Your hat, you pay extra. Your Tims, you pay extra. But Peter's joints was strictly on some grown man time. You know what I mean? But being that I was at the Mecca, you know what I mean? I was more connected and, and hitting with the street street. You know what I mean? So, you know, when the homies came and they coming fresh off the block, you know what I mean? I accommodated them getting in. I tackled a couple of hundred. You know what I mean? But you know, Peter was more on a, a, a strict time. He won his joint, like I said, as extravaganza. And you know, I respect and everybody else respected it. Tell them how you got into the party and business and who you are, first of all. Well, you know, I'm Unique's brother, Peter Chu. We've been close for a long, long time. We got a lot of stories, a lot of stories and history. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, I got a book out, The Life of the Party. I got the movie deal coming. But we had, we really, you know, start getting into the the, um, the party thing, because my, my lieutenants and captains, they just kept crying that they all out of town, they don't get to party. So we ended up doing a, a one-time shot deal. It was supposed to be for my birthday. We had Key Sweat performing and In Touch performing, but it got so crazy. Everybody wanted to do one every month, now, so they started vibing me. You know, I was I was happy just going to hang out at the least part every Wednesday, you know, so 2000. So uh, that was fun for me, but you know, I had to accommodate these brothers and the idea of me having everybody dress up because I used to see all these white people dress up in them, them shows, Dynasty in Dallas, and I wanted to see, you know, we could do the same thing. So I put that into perspective and it was okay. We were successful behind all that stuff, so that's where we went. I mean, your parties was bananas. The last time, right before I got locked up, you threw a party, because uh, we, uh, me, Wu-Tang, and uh, SWV had just signed a, a dollar buyout. They called it back then with uh with uh Kurt Woodley over at RCA. You know what I mean? So they was throwing a party that uh that you was promoting and Madonna was there and all that. This was end of November of '93. Because I got locked up early December uh '93, you know. But um, you know, I came up there to the party, but I didn't come in at the time the people was looking for me. But I just went to show my respect, pull one of the fancy whips out of front, something I knew I could get away with them, you know what I mean? If they tried to chase me. You know, when your parties was so, you know, uh, 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 elegant. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it kept, it, it, it kept away the... The negativity. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? And it was smooth, you know? Yeah. How did you accomplish that? How do you feel you accomplished you know, that? I mean, the party sold itself. You know, it's not about the Peter Shoes and the Uniques. It's about who comes to represent. You know, the people came and they start, they like the party, but the mouth starts spreading. So I end up having you know, the ball players, you know, Charles Oakey, shout out to Oakey, because that's my man. Mm -hmm. They was coming, all the ball players, all the boxers, uh, you know, all the football players, you know, shout out to Mike Tyson, mm -hmm. Ivan Barkley, mm -hmm. Mark Freeman, you know, all them good dudes was coming to the parties. And then you had uh, the football players, Pep, back in the day, Pepper Johnson and Bonnie Hanson, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, when the guys was winning the Super Bowl. So, you know, everybody was coming out and, and showing love, man. You know, where it travels. So, every the, the next party, somebody else comes in and have people performing. So, when you got somebody performing, and you know, it, 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 people's going to come with that too. And then I was giving out money for the best dress, the best mm -hmm. sexy legs, and all similar stuff that you was doing, all that crazy stuff, mm -hmm. you know, to get the people to keep coming. But, you know, but I respect everybody that was in the game, man. You know, me and you was a, two of the few that was hustling and did that. So, mm -hmm. you know, we had the same type of, you know, hustle, hustle, hustle mentality. Game, you know? Yeah, you know, you know? Yeah. where a lot of people wasn't doing that. So they go, we, we come to your spot on Wednesday, you come to my spot when I throw a party. So oh. it, was, it was like a family type atmosphere. And then all the big hustlers was coming and, you know, shout out to all of them, all the, all the real dudes, you know, shout out to them. My, you know, so many I could give a list of Kevin Childs and Lynch Ball from the Bronx and Lynch Ball from Manhattan. You know, it's, it's, it's Ice from Boy George and them. Shout out to all them dudes. So it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of people that was attending these parties and we were just balling, having fun, you know, and you get to see people you don't get to see because everybody's out of time hustling. So yeah. we come back in, 
you know, yo, yo, come on, we're going to Club 2000, and like, all right, we go up there, you know, get a girl, you know, and just chill. But, you know, we just had some nice joints and we had some good times, and you know, you know, man, you had a good time other than the club, so. Yeah, well, we're gonna get know, all of that. Yeah, yeah. so you know. that's what it is. Oh, but um, my thing, uh, how did you prepare for a Peter Shoe party? What was your, your regimen? You wake up tonight, Friday morning, and the party's tonight. How did you prepare for that? Because my lieutenants and captains kept stressing me, you know, yo, let's go get this, let's go get this. And you know, I, I'm laid back, so I, you know, I didn't really want to do it. They they talked me into it. I was like, you know, I had Bentleys to go to every weekend. Yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah. about that, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to Bentleys every weekend. Big shout weekend out to Bentleys was one of the yeah. big clubs back in Midtown. Major, major. You know, that's why I bought Club 2000 Uptown, because we had to go downtown for anything yeah. named club. Bentleys was major. You know what I mean? And I, was, I, got, I got a lot of ladies from in there. I got a lot of, had a lot of fun in there. I met, that's where I met a lot of the people, too, that, that ended up coming to my parties, you know. Me and Oakley met over there, Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of people I met. A bunch of the singers like SWV, we spoke on them. Mm -hmm. SWV and uh, they all, anybody from New York, you know, Salt and Pepper, MC Light, all shout out to all of them, all the DJs. I mean, so you know, we we was, you know, networking. Mm -hmm. But when you get up for the party, you know, it's like I just get me a shape up. I'm ready. I got something to wear. I usually have my clothes made by different people, and I'll be ready. I, you know, we stopped down at AJ Lessons back in the day and. See what they got, you know. Mm -hmm. Pele, Pele, we get the Pele, Pele stuff, and we just we get ready. Definitely, you know, I still got a whole bunch of my Pele, Pele jackets. Yeah. They, they let they let you. I don't have mine no more, but I wish I did just to take the pictures. Yeah, I'm saying, yo, I'm talking about uh, 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 DP 201. My cameraman, he be bugging out. He done seen it. We done took a few with him. I'm talking about all kinds of Mark Buchanan, yeah. Dapper Dan. But when I went when I went away, all they, they they destroyed my stuff. So I don't know what they did. But the crazy thing is, all of that still fit. Because yeah. back then we bought it baggy, yeah. you know what I mean? So everything fits from back then. Okay, okay. Even my pants fit, you know what I mean? 26 years later. Because they had a store called Chabonados. That was a nice short shoe that everybody used to shop in on 92nd and Broadway. Mm. You know, they you could go get your Gators there, your um, Pele Pele, your Gu um, Cool G's, all in one store. So a lot of people like to go in there. So me and Mike Tyson sh shoot over there, Oakley. Mm. Um, we got a... Uh, um, Vernon from uptown, they used to, you know, so we used to race down there and try to get the stuff before they get. Mm. So How did the salespeople treat you down there when you went down there? Oh, we, like, they don't know, they say they didn't know who we was, but yeah. they, the money. They, they, and that, that's what, what I want you to get with. So you come in How there. How the money opened the doors back yeah, then. If you come in there with, you come in there with twenty, fifty thousand dollars you know, they looking at you like you, you are Denzel Washington. Yeah, and there's cash, you know, cash. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not credit. Yeah, no credit. Yeah. You come in there with a duffel bag, you got your money, and you go and buy stuff. So you, that's you how we're doing it. So, you know, I mean, they knew Mike Tyson. So they, you know, he come in there, you know, it's mm -hmm. something different out Oakley. But when a Petey Shoe come in or Unique, you know, it's like, who are they? They green, yeah. whoever they are. Yeah. You, know, other matters. you know, so that's what I'm saying. You know, like, you know, we's going to a car dealer, you know, with the shoe boxes on, right, from KP Call. Go back Fresh off the block, we going out tonight, we go buy a whip for the night. Yeah. Bring 50,000, grab a whip, you know what I mean? Put the rims on it, Route 46. And we're on 25th Street that night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cruising through the block, going through 14th Street, you know what I mean? 12th Street, you know what I mean? All the main blocks, you know, 32nd, you know, 55th, but you know, Polo Bronze got to ride by 8th Avenue. Mm -hmm. You know, and just show the joint off that knows the color show. And then when we all get together, we start zooming through the streets for everybody, you know. And, oh, man. You know, they, we had a lot of incidents with that. So. Man, tell me about the night you was driving a dude hit you when you had your black BMW and I'm driving my blue one. And a, a, a road cab uh, driver ran into your joint. How that went out? I, I, I came up and saw it. So what happened before I got to tell them how it happened? Well, we were all racing. I mean, you talking about everybody. Big D was mm -hmm. there. You know, Oakley big was there. Big D, Oakley, you know. Uh, um, Chaz from Black Hand. Mm -hmm. We was all racing. After this, Chaz tore his shit up with a, pot, a pothole <laughs> later on. But we were all racing through Midtown and um, running Oakley, running lights. We running lights and, you know, it was just, you know, I don't drive crazy like that. You might, but I don't. <laughs> so they, they, I, I was near last, mm -hmm. you know, because all them dudes zooming. So we zooming through the through the joints. I was like, damn, I hope nobody get hurt. That's the thing I was concerned with. Mm -hmm. So I, we had to stop for a light. Niggas were stopping, and some dude ran. He was drunk, ran back into my car. Boom! So he got a uh, he got a, a a girl in the car. So I jumped out. I'm mad as hell, but you know, people watching. She's screaming. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking to make sure my car's all right. And here come Unique running over there with the, the biscuit. And Unique was like, 
going to put some work in. I said, nah, you too many people on this. So I said, don't do that. So Unique was just screaming under there. I said, nah, don't, don't plug him, man. Don't plug him. Uh, you know, and I had to talk to you. So we could just get back in the cars and that. Uh, but right, right when he hit us, Everybody was crowded around. All our people had left. They were still in the car. They didn't even know what happened. Exactly, because like you said, he was in the back, and I just pull up, yeah. and I see the homie having trouble. You know what I mean? So you so know, you need jumped out the car. I said, Nah, you, we can't do that. That would have been another case. You, been you, you know what I mean? So I'm glad we didn't. Do and that, I'm glad bro. you didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> You know, funny but you know, you know that, that that's how the loyalty go, man. You know, you see your brother in trouble, you there for him. You know, by any means, you understand what I'm saying? And you know, that's what it was. Cause like I say, good brother. You know, we go way back, and he always showed love. You know, so if I see him in anything, I already know he'll be there for me, and vice versa. So you know what I mean? Everybody had pulled out, so I was still there. You know, so that's what it was. You know, but uh, you know, you 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 did a lot of a lot of big things, man, and a lot of important things, and. People respect you. Like I said, um, one of the little brothers that I met in Florida named Zion. You know what I mean? They said you 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 know you don't remember offhand. Need to see a picture because they have to understand. They have to understand that uh, we we deal with so many people because you know like we're like the hub of a wheel. You know what I mean? And Peter Shoe is the hub, and all these spokes is connected. You know what I mean? And it links on to so many different people. So for the hub to remember every spoke and every angle that it's going. You understand what I'm saying? It's impossible. You know what I mean? So we have to see a picture here. Nate. Yeah, you have to see a picture. And then, you know, I mean, depending on where we met him, we met him when we was incarcerated. I mean, we was bouncing from jail to jail. So and, and, and that makes, that's what I'm saying. That's that makes it even worse. Y'all talking hard. about, you know, when, when you're in prison right yeah, now. Even in the street, yeah, though. You, you know, know, you meet so many people and they be like, yo, you met me in this place or that place. You know, I still go through, through that still, right now. Yeah, you still go And they got stories that you know they know. Yeah. They're not lying. But you just can't remember it for the life of you. Like, oh, they bring it back to life for you. Yeah. You have to get it. Yeah. And it comes up and then you be like, oh, shoot, you was there for that day? You know? That I did that? You know, and stuff like that. But, but you know what, what surprised me the most is like, man, when, when people remember things and they tell you like, man, I remember when we did this and that. And uh, it's like, you don't remember it because it was just something that was done from the heart. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it was like a life-changing effect mm -hmm. for them. I, I, that hear, they remember. Yeah, like and Jake you know, Cherry. Some of them, some of them amped up though. You can, you might say they're like with four people they mm -hmm. keep beefing with, and then it turned out to be twenty people when they yeah, tell it. Yeah, you know, and stuff like. Because the bouncer was telling the story. He said, "Yo, she came up on Bentley to save my life." But you know, it's crazy. You know, I, the basketball games. You know, I had the teams in the yeah, Rutgers after we left yeah. too. So I had to uh, take no prisoners and. You know, a, a lot of the good You always did pretty good with that team. Like, you picked yeah, good players. Yeah, I, I take the best. You know, I had future recruit most of the players. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, you always I had a, a nice team. Ball, so. You always been a contender. Yeah, he always. But, but see, every, the thing is, we'll be undefeated, and then everybody got to go back to school or something. Mm -hmm. So it was hard to beat them. A shout out to Mousy. He had good teams in there. Mm -hmm. Any way you want it. Um, it's another team. Master Bob and them from the Bronx mm -hmm. had a good team. Master Bob was vicious on the yeah. court too. So it was it was a combination of you know everybody, but it was joyful. You know we had a lot of fun up there when we had the games. You know so yeah, yeah, man, to, to tell them what, what it looked like out front with the cars. You know how you pull up uh, and the cars out front doing yeah, a ruckus game. Yeah, Five thousand people out there. You know ten thousand. It's hard to control. The I used to give out five hundred shirts a game with the taking no prisoners um, logo and stuff on it. But it was it's hard, man. People people. It's congested. People watch it from the roofs. You mm -hmm. know the the the, the, the balconies um, on the in the back of the, the highway. Yeah. On the, on oh the, yeah, the, the bridge. The, yeah. the bridge. They just watch watch it for that. They hanging on the the fence. You know, it was, but it was it was you know something that we enjoyed. And 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 then you know they created um above the rim mm -hmm. after the guys that, that yeah. was out there with the, the big phones and we in mm -hmm. the beach chairs. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, coaching and. Making deals, yeah, yeah. How many keys you need? You know, yeah. so, so it was, it was, it was, it was something that they took and used it in other movies about us. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these movies be portrayed after they see our work. Mm -hmm. So and and the rappers who was rapping in the beginning, they they get their they their swag, and their stuff style. Yeah, from from, from our lifestyle. Seeing what we our lifestyles, but mm -hmm. so you know, I mean, I applaud that because that just shows that we was we was rebelling. Mm -hmm. So you know. That's what it's about, and we was, and mm -hmm. they still talk about us to this day. Mm -hmm. But see, see what it was back then is there was no blueprint. 
You know what I mean? There was nobody to tell Peter Shue how to be Peter Shue or unique, how to be unique, or uh, Peter Shue how to throw a party, or unique, how to run a club, or do this, or do that, uh, the studio, Mecca Audio. You know, we felt that way. It came naturally. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, in the dark. And, you know, like you said, it came naturally when you, as you touch, touch certain puzzle pieces, you know what to put together and things. Horses, horses can do anything. See, you know? let me explain something to you. It don't make a difference what game we in. We can sell number two pencils. We're going to be the best at what we do. Hmm. See, because, can. you know, the, 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 there's nothing nothing different than from us being hustlers to us throwing parties to us throwing movies to us doing it. As long as you, as long as you have this in your mind, it's the only thing they can't take from us. And we was able to use that to adjust. It's called adjusting to anything we do. So, I mean, that's, that's what propelled us to the top of our trade. But see, that's, that's what I want people to understand about what I'm doing. I know that uh, 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 people gravitate towards me, you understand, mm -hmm. for fun, for excitement and things like that, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm a good dude, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, uh, uh, I see what's going on out here now with social media, mm -hmm. you know, what we did, we did without a social media platform, yeah, we have all that. you understand what I'm saying? And we made a brand for ourselves, you understand, mm -hmm. and didn't even know it, you know what I mean? But, right. but, but now that I know it and I understand branding, you understand, and marketing, you know, and consumer, you understand what I'm saying, and product, you understand? That's what I'm doing, I'm marketing myself. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm trying to give the youth a game that's watching this and all the people watching this that's trying to get into the podcast world and YouTube and things like that. You have to brand yourself. Don't come on here and try and be something that you're not. Cause I don't know how to act like a broad. You know what I mean? I don't know, how, you know, I just know how to be unique. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm gonna give you. So if you want unique, come to Unique Make Audio on YouTube or Unique Make Audio at uh, uh, Instagram. You know what I mean? Yeah, because everybody's on this internet. That's what saves a lot of people. We had to grind. We had to bump and grind to get everything we, we wanted done. Even if we wanted to throw a party, if you had to advertise for Club 2000, you get your flies out, you on the block. You know what I mean? Just like you selling yeah. drugs. You, know? you had to run around, people might want tickets to your event, you had to run around, sell the tickets. Ticket meet them. And they want to con you down, yo, can I get a discount? Yeah, you know? you know? But now you ain't got to do all that. All you got to do is advertise on the, on the computer, on the phones, and they're there. You know, and, 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 and that's difference. all it is to it, you know what I mean? But you know, this is the first segment with, you know, me and uh, Peter. Uh, I got some questions I'm getting ready to get into. You can stop and reset it or whatever.